this composer, I think the, I was thinking to myself how in many song composers who are, and this includes people who write popular song, they give you a wonderful tune and they give you some wonderful harmonies and a singer takes that to heart and moves it within parameters that suit him or her. And we get up tempi American songbook classics and we get down tempi and we get people playing and we get, but one of the reasons in the classical song repertoire is that we are dealing with very, very extraordinary individuals with people like Wolf and Dupac and Schubert and Debussy, which is what I've got today. Because they actually were playing with their musical materials in a way that was much, which is terribly exact. And it really is worthwhile doing the archeological excavation to see what they had in mind because getting into their mind as a revelation is what makes it worthwhile to actually experience what these people are doing in terms of song, which is, you know, really playing a type of five dimensional chess, which is, uh, which people, which is an overused phrase in bad quarters at the moment. But to tell me, to tell you the truth, I really do feel that as I've got to know so many songs in the song repertoire, and as the years go by, I think, guy, these guys are cleverer than I am by a very big, long way. <laughs> and the talent is so enormous that why wouldn't one want to spend time on really looking at what they did? In the case of Hugo Wolf, you had an obsessive, not an easy man, a man who spent hours and hours and hours doing his printings and his editings and his markings, and in the case of the Italian songbook, his metronome markings, and really, really minded when people didn't do what they were told. He had that very strong feeling that basically once a composer dies, the only way that he can rule from the grave and have his things preserved. Remember, he didn't have the luxury of recording things to show us and leaving us a recorded legacy. If he'd lived as long as Richard Strauss, which he might have done instead of dying, you know, tragically only when he was 43, uh, he might have made recordings so we would know a lot more about what he had in mind about various things. But as it is, all that he had was a paper and his last will and testament, which is in the songs. Mm 